Hey guys, Dill Dreamer. Now, apart from hearing a lot of Dana Bryan fan sleeves out there crying and complaining about how uh, Elimination Chamber was a bust because he didn't win the Elimination Chamber match, which I'm not even going to get into it because you already know how I'm going to feel about that because I think it's ridiculous. But anyway, what I do want to talk about is pretty much Daniel Bryan. Now, a lot of people are wondering what he's going to do in WrestleMania. A lot of people think that he's going to have a match with Undertaker. He might end up going into the main event with uh, Batista and Randy Orton for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship and whatnot, you know. But, in my opinion, and this is actually a prediction of what I think is going to happen. This is the possible match that he's going to have at WrestleMania 30 is that I believe he's actually going to have two matches. Now, what matches he's going to have? Well, seeing that he's doing a lot with Kane as of late, it makes a lot of sense that he go against Kane at WrestleMania 30. I mean, that's that's a kind of a feud that people, I know people probably would not want to see, but the fact that he's part of the authority and stuff like that, that he's the, I don't know, what the director of operations and stuff, and that he's interfering in his matches, it makes perfect sense to book that match. And then what I think is going to happen is they're going to have it have a stipulation that if Daniel Bryan wins that match against Kane, then he goes on to face Rainey Orton and Batista for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. So it turn into a triple threat match for the main event at WrestleMania 30. Uh, I know people are saying that all oh, triple threat matches have been done already and stuff like that, but here's the thing that I would say that this is the thing that I say that. It's been a while since we see somebody working double duty at WrestleMania. I mean, from my knowledge, from my memory, the last person, or actually the last two people who actually worked double duty for WrestleMania was Bret Hart and Yokozuna at WrestleMania 10. And you rarely see that now. I, I might be wrong, but you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, if there are other WrestleManias um, after WrestleMania 10 that people were working double duty because right now I can't think of it off the top of my head but um, for that particular match I think that it makes more sense to do that it adds more drama it adds more of the fact that you know let's root for Daniel Bryan let's root for Daniel Bryan and then I see him either win the match by either a pinfall submission or actually by DQ you know kind of like how Lately, Kane has been trying to hurt him. I see Kane doing that to Daniel Bryan, hurting him, and also decreases his chances of winning the title. And then he goes on to wrestle triple um, the triple threat match with Batista and Randy Orton. And I believe in that one, I'm going to leave it up in the air. Because the way I feel that I think people are going to expect Daniel Bryan to win that match. And there's a possibility that WWE is going to do a big, huge swerve where he doesn't win it. Because everyone is expecting it. You know what I mean? So, I'm actually going to leave that to be undecided right now. I'm not going to predict because either way it could happen. That's how I feel. I think he might win or they might just say, nope, he's going to not win the match and stuff like that. As a way of saying that, well, you guys expect it, so it's not going to be as special. You know what I mean? I don't know. But that's how I feel what's going to happen for her Daniel Bryan. He's going to have two matches. I feel he's going to have two matches at WrestleMania 30 with Kane and then go on the main event and stuff like that. And then results could be anything from now until then. You know what I mean? So what do you guys think? Do you think he should have two matches where he wrestles Kane? Or do you think he just goes into the main event? I think it, I think I said I think it will play out very well if he has two matches and it makes people want to root on for him more and stuff. Still being the ultimate underdog kind of thing, you know. So leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think, and we'll see if it goes from there. All right, guys, take care.